It took 22 years for McDonald's to become profitable in India. In July of 2017, Papa John's closed down its last 33 restaurants. Where others failed, Domino's succeeded. Domino's is India's largest international food chain, with 1,200 stores in 271 cities. But 14 years ago, the chain had just 93 stores. So what happened? Well, in 2005, Domino's India hired a new CEO, Ajay Kaul. Before I get into this, make sure you click subscribe. You're already here. In the mid-1980s, Domino's was the fastest growing pizza chain in the United States. So it began expanding to the international market. By 1995, the restaurant chain had a thousand locations outside the US, but none were in India. India was an attractive proposition for American companies. It had a population more than three times the size of the United States. English was an official language. The government was democratically elected, and experts predicted its $387 billion GDP to surge. A seemingly ideal scenario for companies looking to expand, like Domino's. In 1996, the company opened its first Indian location in New Delhi. But 12 years later, they had only opened 93 more franchises. When Ajay Kaul took over as CEO of Domino's Pizza India in 2005, many Indians weren't willing to shell out money at restaurants, especially for pizza. The fundamental challenge in India was a foreign treatment to the whole concept of eating a pizza. Indian consumers in India were not ready to move from traditional snacking options to a whole new category, he told India Retailing Bureau. And Domino's was considered an expensive brand. That was Call's first focus, making inexpensive options for lower incomes. In 2006, Domino's introduced fun meal options that lowered per person serving prices to under $1. Going further, the company spent eight months adjusting pizza ingredients down to the flour to find less expensive alternatives. This allowed Domino's to strategically expand to smaller towns like Indore and Nashik, which craved Western products. These smaller market stores have since introduced American-inspired dishes, like this pizza burger. But Call was sure to walk the line between local and Western tastes. Each new store customized menus to speak to the specific locality. It isn't unusual for American chains to introduce local takes on staple menu items when they launch in a new country. For example, McDonald's Korea has kimchi shaker fries, Burger King Canada has poutine, and French Subways showcase raclette subs. Domino's India was no outlier. It had long offered a large variety of vegetarian pizzas. But Call went a step further, modifying menus to the tastes of India's regions. He encouraged chefs to go on food walks through local markets for inspiration. For example, in the south of the country, where pizza wasn't quite as popular, local franchises debuted the South Zesty Veggie Pizza complete with green bananas, chilies, and bell peppers. Next, Call introduced an American marketing campaign. The 30 Minutes Are Free Delivery Service Campaign. 30 Minutes, night of free! <laughs> to this day, 99% of deliveries arrive within the promised 30-minute deadline. The success was immediate. By 2012, the chain hit 500 locations, then 150 more by the end of 2014. And in 2018, a grand total of 1,200 stores. Pizza Hut, its main competitor, had only opened its 500th store. Today, India is Domino's second largest market in the world. The success of Domino's allowed its operating group, Jubilant Foodworks, to sign a master franchise agreement with Dunkin' Donuts. 
which Call immediately began overhauling, changing the strategy from donuts to sandwiches. But it saw only initial success. In the following years, Domino's growth slowed from 30% in 2012 to 0.1% in 2015. Domino's and others were still struggling to access the hundreds of millions of Indians that live below the international poverty line of $1.90 a day. In 2016, Ajay Kahl resigned. Yet Domino's India has not collapsed. The formula he implemented proved to be sustainable. Jubilant Foodworks posted an 8% year-on-year increase in net profits for the quarter ending on March 31st, 2019. By creating tastes customized to the country's palate, expanding into smaller, unserviced towns, and lowering overall menu prices, Call and Domino's found success where others couldn't gain momentum. What's your favorite pizza chain? Let us know in the comments, click subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell for post notifications.